Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? We're going to talk a little bit more about the moon and our flat earth. And uh, we're going to talk about a couple different things here. Now, when we look up in the sky, we see when we're told that planets spin around in a circle on its axis. We're also told that Earth spins around on its axis. And um, we are unable to confirm or believe this, or excuse me, confirm or deny this. It's only what NASA and other government officials tell us. Now, when we look up at the only planet that we can see, I know it's not a planet, but let's say an object in the sky called the moon, the moon does not spin around us. It does not spin on an axis. It's always facing directly at us. Now, in one of the comments, I appreciate this gentleman uh, commenting, but uh, he was saying that the moon, when it circles around us, that it spins one full spin around so that we're always seeing the moon at us. But that would be if it's circling a globe. On a flat earth, it goes around this way, not this way around us. And one way to explain that is if we are in a city and we're right smack dab in the middle of the city and we look up in the sky and we watch a plane fly around the city, we're always seeing the same side of the plane. We never see the other side of the plane and the plane itself is not making a spinning rotation so that we can constantly see that side of the moon. That's well enough on that. Let's talk about the other things. Uh, let's say when the earth is spinning around on its axis, they tell us that it has a wobble and that it goes back and forth, back and forth, and that it's constantly changing its wobble. But again, every single year at exactly the same time on the exact same day, there's places thousands and thousands of places around the world where people will go on the, um, oh shoot, on the, oh boy, the four times a year when the sun will come up, let's say, let's use Stonehenge, and the sun will come up right in between the um, pillars, or it will come up right across the, um, a different monolith or in cathedrals, it will go inside a cathedral window and shine a light straight down its path. In um, Hopi Indians and other places, they have things like this carved into the rocks. And this is a calendar. When the sun rises and hits this shadow right here, it's one time of the year. When it re rests again on this one, it's on the next lunar cycle or I can't believe I can't remember the four seasons on those dates. Uh, but that circle is a calendar, and then it goes to this one, and then it does its reverse pattern right back. It's, these places are all over the world. And if the earth was spinning on a wobble, none of these things could happen, not even close. Now we've got also China that has just flown up to the moon and they are saying that they are on the back side of the moon. Okay, why can't anybody prove or disprove that? Or why is China allowed to say they can do that? It's because you would have to open up the whole can of worms of the moon's mysteries. Uh, let's see, what are some of the other things? Uh, this is not a conspiracy theory when a person says that NASA cannot fly to the moon. They themselves, today, right now, say they do not have the technology and the ability to fly to the moon. Now, I know we did it in the 60s, but NASA themselves say they lost that technology. How do you lose the technology of flying to the moon? How is that possible? Did you, again, this is not me saying this or conspiracy theorists saying this. This is NASA's own words saying that they lost the uh, ability to have the knowledge to fly to the moon today. Let's go ahead and do another one. This is just piggybacking off of other people's stuff. But we've got the 
batteries that were charging up what, let's just say the space rover. How was the space rover fueled? How did they keep the lights on in the, in the capsule that landed on the moon? How did they keep the air oxygen flowing inside these capsules? How did they keep all the electronic stuff? How did they have a phone with a battery in it to uh, talk back to President Nixon on Earth? What kind of battery technology did they have then that we don't have now? The other thing about these batteries, we know that batteries have a really hard time in life on Earth in the cold that the cold freezes the batteries, makes them inoperable. If you are on the moon and they say there is no atmosphere on the moon and they say in space that the temperatures drop from incredible hot in the direct sunlight to incredible cold inside the shade in a matter of seconds, that it's just a rapid change of temperatures. If you are on the moon and there's no atmosphere, and you're in direct sunlight, these batteries had to handle this type of heat, and when it would go back into the space shuttle, or not space shuttle, but inside the capsule, or any type of a shadow, it would go into an instant, instant cold freeze. We're talking huge temperatures. I don't wanna put the numbers out there because they're not on the top of my head. But these batteries cannot handle, that we know of, on earth here now today can't handle excessive heat nor can they handle excessive cold how is this possible on the moon at those time of years what 60 70 years ago now it's just absolutely impossible for any type of the moon type of theory to be possible also when we look at the moon from earth and we use a telescope and we are able to look at it and see incredible details of these craters, okay? How far do you really think that moon is? How far do you think that moon is? If we would sit there and look at a telescope, not binoculars, a telescope from one mountain to another on Earth, we would be able to see great detail, but it's very close. If we look at Earth and look at the moon, and look at that type of thing and see the detail on the moon, how far do you really think that moon is away? I mean, we can see uh, just with binoculars. If you take binoculars, a good pair of binoculars on Earth and look up at the moon, you can see pretty much basically the exact same detail that you can with a telescope. It's really quite amazingly, oh, should I use the word close? So now, uh, let me think. There was a few other things that maybe I should have taken notes or maybe I'll just go ahead and leave it at that. That's a lot of information for people to digest if they've never heard of this type of things before. Um, God bless you. God bless the world. And God bless me and Piggy.